Hello, everyone. This is Zeta Math. And this is his husband, Tristan. Welcome to our solve of this puzzle uh, by Ransk that was made as part of a sort of cycle of puzzles between me, Ransk, Scott Strassall, and Bremster. So Scott Strassall solved my puzzle, Arca, as part of this. Uh, and now we're going to solve Whisper Something. Uh, now, you might recall a bit ago, we made the puzzle Antimatter for Ranks, and he solved it on his stream, uh, and it took him a bit. So he made this, uh, hopefully not too much in retaliation, but we shall see. Do you want to start by explaining the rules, Tristan? So this is the puzzle Whisper Something by Ranks. I like it. Uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. And then we have these lines. The thinner blue lines are two things. They are German whisper lines. So adjacent digits on a German whispers line must differ by at least five. So if this was a seven, this would just have to be at least five away from seven. So it would be a one or a two. Additionally, these lines have equal sums in each box they appear in, which just means that the sum of these three digits is the same as the sum of these three digits. And the same thing happens on each of these lines. So these three digits sum to the same as these three digits. Next, we have these purple lines, which are just standard Renbon lines. They must be a collection of consecutive digits that can appear in any order. So this would be a perfectly fine fill for a rent bond line. They just have to be a cluster of consecutive digits, but they don't have to be in any particular order. Finally, we have black dots. And on a black dot, the digits have to be in a ratio of 1 to 2. So if that was a 4, that could be an 8. Let's see, there is no negative constraint of any kind in this puzzle, so everything is just positive information. Um, do we want to say anything else before we get started? Nope, I think we should start. Okay, this line looks interesting. These things have to have the same sum, but one of them is going to be two highs and a low, and the other one's going to be two lows and a high. Why don't you color that in green and yellow just so that we can talk about this? Uh, so what Tristan's doing here is he's coloring these in green and yellow because we know that along a whisper line, digits alternate between a digit that's greater than five and a digit that's less than five. Now, we don't know which is greater than five and which is less than five, but we've just gone ahead and picked one of them to be green and one of them to be yellow. And the reason why Tristan picked up on this right away is that we have two digits that are greater than five and one that's less than five on the one hand, summing to the same number as two digits that are less than five and one digit that's greater than five on the other. Again, we don't know which is which, but Tristan is suspicious that these are quite restrained, and I expect that Tristan is correct about this. Uh, so let's just fiddle with some numbers and just get an idea of what, what we're talking about. So uh, ignoring the black dot here, I'm just going to look at some numbers on this. If this were like 1, 2, and 7, summing to 10... Well, that definitely doesn't work, because now you have to put two high digits on the other one. So two high digits sum to at least 13. Okay. So if you think about two high digits sum to at least 13, that means the one with two highs has to sum to at least 14. And so then the one with a high and two lows has to sum to at least 14. Uh, and what is the absolute maximum I could make a high and two lows sum to? That would be a nine, a four, and a three which is 16. And what is the minimum you can make the other one sum to? Yeah, 14. That, we said that. 14. Okay, yeah, so, so it's... 14, 15, or 16 is the common sum here. Okay. We can probably say more about that but I'm not sure that's the right place to poke right now. Yeah, let's, let's 
mark in, we know there's a five in row nine in box nine. Oh, right, because this I was thinking this was a Ren button, but it's a Whisper. So right. five can't appear on a Whisper line because there's no digit that's five away from five in a Sudoku button. So, yes, there is a five in one of these cells. Uh, and now there's a five in row eight of box seven. Ah, uh, yes. So Because you can't put a five on a black dot either. And so now five is placed in box eight. Well, that's fancy. So we have a little digit. So we can do our little digit dance. Although I don't know if fives qualify for a digit dance and a puzzle with whispers in it, but we're, we're going to take it. Now, there has to be a five there on the Renbon line up there as well, because we have a length five Renbon, and a length five Renbon needs to have a five. Actually, there's two length five Renbons uh, that each need a five. Uh, so, so there's a one... five in one of these. Yep, that one needs a five in one of those two cells, and then the other one needs a five in one of four cells. You should pencil mark that, I think. Oh, you just turned it gray instead is what happened. Well, yeah, because this is a cross boxes. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yes, so you should do it for the other one, too. So we have another length six line here. So we actually have the same thing going on here that we have going on here. Yep. So we, we have, again... Uh, maybe this time you can use purple and orange. So these would be purple and these would be orange? Sure. Uh, again, just marking, we don't know which is high and which is low, but we do know that we have this kind of pattern like this. Okay. Uh, now, Although orange is traditionally meant to be high. <laughs> well, you can use a different color if you prefer. Uh, but I think we can pretty quickly work this out, because could orange be the same thing as green? So, if orange is the same thing as green, then it means that we're using all of the high digits or all of the low digits. And we proved uh, that you can't, in uh, the box with two highs, you can't use... Sorry, in the box with two lows, you can't use a one, we proved, right? Uh, Did we? So we said we need these three digits to sum to 14, 15, or 16. And so if one of them is a one, what's the maximum the others could be? Uh, nine and four. Oh, I guess that does total to 15. It sums to 14. Oh, 14. Well, 14 is still 14, 15, or 16. So, yeah, as long as the other side was exactly 6, but, 7, 1, this would be but fine. But wait, that it, but if orange is green, then these are 2 and 3, and now we need a high digit here. And that isn't high enough, I think. So, I think what you're arguing is that orange can't be green if orange and green are both low. Yeah, because we have to use the one, we have to use the ones, okay, if orange and green are both low, we have to use the one somewhere. And if we use the one, then maxing the others gets us just high enough. Oh, let, let's think about it this way. We have to use all of one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four sum to ten. Uh, and so then... What's the highest we could get with the other two high digits? 9 plus 8, which is 17. Uh, so we could get up to 27, but we said the minimum sum these three digits can have is 14. So we would need 28. Yes, and 27 is less than 28, and so that just doesn't work. So they can't be low. Can they be high? I think we run into exactly the same problem on the other end, but let's try it. So I, I think it's going to work out the same way, but let's try it. So we need 9, 8, 7. So 9, 8, 7, and 6, sum to 30, plus the minimum that you could make the low digits are 1 and 2. And that's 33. But the absolute maximum 
remember, for one of these sets of three is 16, we proved. And so this maximum of two of them would be 32. So 33 is too high. So green and orange are not the same. So these are now yellow. Mm -hmm. And these are green. Yes. Uh, might as well mark that five goes in one of three places in box six. Actually, one of two places in box six, sorry. Uh, because we already have a five in the row over there. Ah, which places five in box nine. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. That's why there's gray there. Uh, do, do you want to explain about pencil marking across boxes there and why that doesn't quite work out? Yes, yeah, so I got confused by the fact that we are pencil marking it in corner marks across boxes, which is what the colors are supposed to help help with. But I saw these corner marked fives in box three and saw that they were aligning with the corner marked fives in box six, which would mean that five couldn't be in these cells and it would have been in this cell. But this region that can have fives pokes into box two, so that relieves all the pressure over here. Zeta likes corner marking across boxes more than I do. Yeah, the, uh, it, it is a very controversial uh, stance, to put it mildly. So let's note that the yellows that are on the inside uh, can't be four or six. So there's a bunch of yellows that... Uh, that can't be four or six because they would put a nine in two sides. So that's always an interesting thing with German whispers is that four and six are a bit different than other things because it's, it's hard to put that one that you have highlighted in box eight could be a four or a six. Oh, sorry. It can't be a, can't be a four uh, because it would put a nine, but it could be a six. So what's the maximum you could get on yeah, this is, a, this is the right question. If the center digit is an 8, what's the maximum it could be? And the answer is the this? maximum it could be... Like, yeah, on any of these. Uh, if the center digit is an 8, what's the biggest it could be? And the answer is 13, which is not enough. So, in fact, the center digit on the high line is always a 9. That's interesting. So, we know, and you'll love pencil marking this across boxes... Uh, one of row six, column eight, and row eight, column six, one of those is a nine. Uh, likewise, one of those in column nine is a nine. So does the opposite logic apply? Does, that, does the low have to be a one? So if I put a two in the middle... Then what's the minimum I could make it sum would be 2 plus 7 plus 8, which you're right, is again too big. So it, in fact, actually just has to be a 1-9 pair. So that's actually a lot easier to pencil mark. And you can mark it on the other one just as well. Uh, here and here. Yep. Perfect, perfect. So I want to look at row 6, column 6. What can it be? So one of these two directions... We need to be a nine uh, with a, uh... okay, so let's just write in the naive ones. So it's one, two, four, eight, three, or six. And I think we can eliminate lots of these. Okay, so it's certainly not one. Uh, if it's an eight, it puts a four there, Oh, which is, I guess, okay. We could go four, nine, one, or... 492 or whatever. Okay, so that's yeah, fine. Right. But yeah, it's not one because it sees a one. Let's see. I feel like one of these is uh is going to be broken. Uh so what about three? That would put a six and a one. And then what? Oh, that's alright, because then you could just have something higher. So now, interestingly, actually, if you look at box six specifically, we have a one nine pair mm -hmm. in box six. So actually, if you do put a four 
on this dot, then what happens? Then that's either a 2 or an 8. Yeah, maybe, maybe this is not worth uh, checking. We can wait and look at this later. One thing that that is occurring to me that or that that has sort of been bugging me in the back of my mind is what happens if these are the same? Yeah, that is certainly a very interesting question. I feel like that's going to have an impact on box five. We'll certainly have an impact, whether it will have a uh, a sufficiently large impact or not is a. These Ren bonds, the way they interact with this Ren bond. Now, one thing I notice is that yellow 1, 9 does not appear on the L-shaped Ren bond in rows 1 and 2, which is certainly interesting. I don't know how much it's worth, but because of these, 5 can appear on at most one of these two. Yeah, five was on both of them. It would rule five off of the length five Ren bond. That is a good observation. So one of those Ren bond is either all yellow or all green. Mm -hmm. Is it possible that the one in row four is all yellow? I don't think so. Uh, but maybe I don't want to try and prove that yet. This thing looks like a little angry face if you turn your head on. It's side. Yeah, it's like a clown or something. Uh, yeah, yeah. A devil bunny? Yeah, you, you can submit it to faces and things uh, for the uh, the month. So, hang on. Oh, okay. I was hoping we were going to get to color this line, but I'm not sure that we can. So if the cell next to yellow is yellow, what happens? Then we have all the yellows for the row. And the yellow 4, 6 has to go in row 9, column 1. Uh, because, oh no, not necessarily. Sorry, we don't have the yellow 1, 9 in there, necessarily. Interesting. So is it really the case? Let's just check that if... In box six, if the center thing is a nine, is it really the case that I can use any of two, three, four? I think so. Uh, but I just want to double check. Uh, so uh, we could do two plus three, two plus two four. To 14. Yeah, 15. two plus three or two plus four or three plus four. 16. All of those are valid, right? Uh, Theoretically. Okay. Just wanted to double check. Yeah, this one's probably more interesting with this dot. Yeah, the dot is definitely compelling. I'm also interested in coloring the Ren bonds as a potential. Uh... Okay, so here's another point. No, sorry, it's not quite a point. It's almost a point. So we do know there is a green 4, 6 on the Ren bond in rows 1 and 2. Because there's not a yellow 1, 9 on it. So there's a green 4, 6 on here somewhere. Which seems okay. uh, like the kind of thing that's going to become relevant eventually. If you actually do look at where fives can go in box five, it is actually fairly restricted because there's a whole T that's lopped out of them. Uh, so there's only three spots that it could possibly go while we're... Uh, you, you should not pencil mark that. <laughs> uh, just because of... Uh... Oh, sorry. No, there's only two spots five can go. Never mind. Five can't go in row five, column, column five. Column... Because that would rule five off the Renbon. Column six? Oh. Right. Row five, column six, yes. That would rule five off the Ren bond. So actually five is in one of these two cells in this box. But that means that five is not on the Ren bond in this column, which is interesting. And now the five in 
box two is now in one of these three positions. Okay, so that is, that seems like an important observation that we did not make previously. Okay, so uh, I want to look at column four now carefully. So this, this Renbon is either all high or all low because it has a five ruled off of it. So its digits can't cross five. If it was all low, what is it? Uh, well, the dot becomes difficult to fill. Maybe not. Maybe it's, maybe it's, maybe it's fine. Let's just color the Renbon with some color purple. And let's look at the whisper in row nine, in particular row nine column four. So I want to know if this could possibly be purple. Because if it is purple, then we now have all high or all low digits on these, uh, these croppy dots in the column which seems restrictive. Oh, you know what? At some point, without realizing it, we also ruled five off of the other length three Renbon. Wait, oh. It is either purple or not purple. And so, uh, is it possible that it's purple? And the answer is, I think, no. But let's try and uh, let's try and carefully prove that because I think that breaks the length five Renbon if both of these are purple. Because now, well, they can't be the same three digits. But I don't. I guess I don't strictly speaking know that they can't both be purple. Why can't these both be the same three digits? Because uh, if they're the same three digits, then those three digits don't appear anywhere on oh maybe maybe they even could be the same okay whatever let's just uncolor it in purple but we need to think about we need to decide whether these are yellow or green that's the point and so again we're we're in a really interesting position where if the one in row 4 if that one is yellow that creates a really huge amount of pressure on the row because now everything else in the row has to be either five or green. And so we would get three greens in box five just automatically uh, right there. But that's not quite, it, it's so close. It's just not quite there. Oh, you know what we never talked about? The whisper line in row nine this is an equal sum line, as is the one in there, the really easy one that is standing there uh, mocking us. Uh, so these will have to be low, won't they? Well, they can't both be low. That's oh, high. Oh, row this is top. high. Yeah, that just is high. We should have started there. That should have been the very first thing we did. So that is high, low, high. And so let's mark candidates on what these could be. This is the Kreska line thing all over again. So the one in box six has to be a seven, eight, or nine. This can't be as high as four. Yeah, there's no way it's a four. Uh, there's no way it's a three, uh, because then it would need to put eight, nine on both sides, and that's not going to work. Uh, it could be a two, because it could, so it's a one or a two. Uh, and then it's got to go with, and I think this could be a six, seven, or eight. Eight, one, nine, I guess. So now let's look at the row nine one. So let's just imagine that the one in row, or the three in box seven are high, low, high. In which yeah, case, what's the, the minimum, minimum we could make those? In which case, the minimum is 14. Uh, and then that's already broken. Because I can't get to 14 uh, over there. In, in, with a low and a high. Right. Yeah. So that must go 
low, high, low. Uh, now let's think about the math of this. So the absolute maximum I could get out of low, high, low. Oh, I was going to look at box seven. The maximum I could get out of low, high, low is three, four, nine is 16. But I certainly can't get 16 out of uh, those two. So what's the minimum I could get out of low, high, low would be, uh, oh, and I can't do one, two, seven because there's a one, two in the box. So the right. minimum I could do is actually one, uh, three, eight is the minimum these could be. Yeah, I think one, three, eight sounds right, uh, which is 12. And the maximum these could be is four, nine, which is 13. 13. So there's one degree of freedom. So that means that the one in box, uh, so we have a one, two, three triple in box seven and an eight is placed, I think is the point. Because if you, if you look at this, the absolute minimum you might as well fill in was one, was a one, three pair there with an eight in the middle. And so if I want to change one digit here, uh, the only digit I can change is I can replace the ones with twos. That's it. If I replace the threes with fours, I also have to replace the eight. Oh, I could replace the eight with a nine, couldn't I? Yeah. Okay, so so that those so the blues are from one, two, three, the orange is from eight or nine. Uh, which does give us a one, two, three, triple in the box. So that is that is something. And now over in box. Oh, but we need the nine here in box eight. Because again, the absolute maximum I could get was nine plus four is 13. I can't reduce the nine to an eight because then I also have to reduce the four to a three. And so I eat two degrees of freedom and I only have one. So that is a nine with a three or a four. So this is an eight. So that is an eight. With a one, two or a one, not a one, two. With a one, three or a two, three? Yes. So one, three makes this 12. Oh, that doesn't, that work. doesn't work. So this had better be two, three. No, but there's a three in these. We just said there's a one, three, or a two, three. So this isn't three. Yep, so it's a four. And so these need to be a two, three, like I said. I think we just did the same calculation in a different way. But that tells us that's a one. That thing's also not an eight, so that thing's not a nine. And we know what yellow and green are. So let's fill in that, because I think that will be helpful. We know what you... Oh, this. Okay, so green is low. And yellow is high. Mm-hmm. And so that's a one. That's a nine. That's a one. That's a nine. This is a six or a seven. That's a six, seven, or eight. And I think we know one of these is a six, right? If it was, no, seven, eight plus one is still fine. Never mind. Now we do know there's a one in row nine of box nine. And it's not in row nine, column nine, because there's a one there already. Yeah, so these are from one, five, six, seven, we couldn't just say. Yeah, and, and that one's not a one. There's a nine in one of two places in box nine as well from the other direction. Oh, actually, nine is placed here. Because where does nine go in box seven? It doesn't go ah, here. Beautiful, beautiful. So there's a nine in this row. So nine is here. So that's orange. Okay. And there's a four on the Renbon in row two. Because it doesn't have a nine on it. So somewhere on this Renbon is a four, just joining the five. And I think that is worth pencil marking, especially since we've already gotten the whole zone all pencil mark ready. Okay. So the two lows in row 
6 are from 2, 3, 4. So that means that dot can't be a 2. No, it doesn't, annoyingly. It means, well, it can't be a, a 3, certainly. Ah, yes, it can't be a 3. That's a good point. Yeah, I think it could still obnoxiously be a 2 or a 4. Okay, uh, 6, 7, 8 on those two oranges in box 6 while we're at it. Good spot on the 9, by the way, with that black crappy dot. That was very, uh, that was very cool. So now, if the column 4 Renbon is orange, it has to be exactly 6, 7, 8. Is that a, a problem? 6 or an 8 here, 3 or oh, 4 well, here. Oh, here's the easier question. Oh, no, darn it. No, sorry. I was going to say the one's just broken if it tried. Actually, I think it is. If the row 4 one is orange... It doesn't work because there's a seven eight in the box and there's a six seven eight in the row. So the only way this would work is if it was seven eight nine, except that breaks that cell. So that's blue. Right. Yep. Great. Do you want to go over that or do you want me to say that in a way that is better for the video? Well, so if this were orange, we would need to take three of the digits from six, seven, eight, nine but we already have one of the middle digits from 6789 here. So there's just no combination of digits here that allow this to be filled. If this was 678, that's broken. If this is 789, that's broken. So there's just no way to fill this. So that is blue. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. And we know there's a 2 and a 3 on it which is big for yes. the dot, I think. So now what can the dot uh, actually be over in row that one? Uh, so it could be one, conceivably, maybe. Right. Uh, it can't, can't be, be two, two or three. three. Uh, could be four. I think it could be four. Uh, certainly can't be five. It could be six or eight. So that's not too many options. Now, if it is high, this has to be blue again. Interesting. I mean, I do feel like that kind of wants to be blue, but uh, don't ask me to prove it. Well, if it's orange, it's six, seven, eight. Yeah. And eight would have to be here next to a four. Mm hmm. Next to a two. But I don't immediately see why that's broken. Okay, so nine is definitely in row five of box four. Agreed. Why isn't it on the Renbon? Oh, we... I'm sorry. Uh, so nine is definitely in one of two places in box five. Up here. Yep. So, of course, it's huge if this Renbon does have a nine on it, because if the, Ren, if a, the Renbon has a nine on it, it has to be exactly nine, eight, seven, six, five. Mm hmm. Oh, what is row seven, column three? Row seven, column three. It's not one, two, or three. So it's four, mm -hmm. six, or eight. But it's not eight, because an eight would put a four in a box that already has a four. So that's only four or six. Next to two, three, or eight? Next to two, three, or eight. That sounds right. And so the second we know what value is in that cell, it's going to tell us the exact contents of the Renbon in the column. Because if it was an 8, it would say the Renbon in the column had to be low. And if it was a 2 or a 3, it would say the Renbon in the column had to be high. Yes. Oh, uh, look at the blue cells in box 3 and label them. What can they be? Uh... Well, this one can only be two, three, or four. And it can't be four, for whisper reasons. Oh, right. 
And so this other one now has to be, can't be one either, uh, because that would make this not big enough. So it has to be from two, three, four. Oh, here's a point to consider. If row three, column nine is a three, that makes the digit below it an eight. So there's actually, there's this communication that I had not been appreciating between what's going on and these two things, because they have to, they have to whisper each other, those two cells. Right. And I, I have not looked at that in so either case. So this can't be six, certainly. Oh yeah, that's definitely not six. That, that is something we probably should have figured out a while ago. Uh, likewise, this can't be four, because we can't have a nine here. Ah, yep, yep, good, good. And so that not being able to be four removes the ability of that to be eight. Uh, and two. Oh, and two. Yes, beautiful. Yep. So that's only four or six. Oh, there's always a three in one of those two cells. Interesting, because of this. Yeah, so if that's a two, it puts a four there, which then puts a three over there. So one of those two is a three. All right, uh, great. Which puts a three into row five of box five, just by Sudoku. So these are two, three, or three, four. So if this was six, seven, would that make this too small? This is minimum two, three, nine, which adds to what, 14? Yeah, which is exactly what we'd get if that was six, seven. Oh. Uh. And if that's. So it's either two, three, or it's three, four. If it's three, four, then it adds to 16. Oh, which is too big. No, it's not. That would just put make those two, seven, eight. So is there always a seven on here? I think there is. Uh, I'm kind of inclined to believe that, but also I got bitten by making an argument like that before. So let's be very careful. So okay. either these sum to uh, 14, in which case I need a six and a seven. Which has a seven. Which has a seven. Or these sum to 16. In which case, this is 7, 8, and you, it has a 7. Yeah, so there's weirdly always a 7 in those cells. I'll take it. Very interesting. But we believe this, yes? I, I, I think I believe it, yes. Okay, if this is 6, then these will have to be 7, 8, and that would have to be a 4. And that works. Annoyingly. If that's 4. This one is never 2. So if that one is 2, then it puts a 3 there and a 6 there. And then a seven eight down there, which and then doesn't add up. Th that does not add up correctly. Yep, that one's never two. You're right. Very good spot. That that was not an easy sort of thing to see, but I agree. Four only goes in one of these cells in row six. Interesting. I'm trying to look at these length five friend bonds and look at what happens if they don't have fours in them, or if they could still have fours in them. Well, this one has a four in it. Yeah, but the box five one only can have a four in one of two places. Uh, in both places it can have a four are interesting. In which case this would be a four five pair. Oh, so that's never a three. This? Yep, that's never a three. That's a good point. Because if that's a three, I need a four and I need a five, but I can't put both of them in the one cell in this puzzle. Yes. 
So the three is actually locked into one of those two over there. That's a good spot. Yeah, I'm really surprised we have not been able to color this one Renbon yet. It, it feels like we should be able to, but I, uh, I don't see it if we can. What can row six, column two be? Let's just write in the candidates for it. I think it can be a one. Can't be a two or a three. I think it can maybe be a four. We s Oh, I think it can be a five just because of the way our pencil marks worked out. Placing a five here? Yeah, I think so. But it... It can be a six, I think, but it can't be seven, eight, or nine. Yeah, because if it's a seven, that puts another seven below it through the medium of this equal sum. This can't be an eight, and it sees a nine. Yep. Uh, so that is uh, not literally nothing. Ah, oh, well, this one isn't four, remember, because we said there's a four in one of these cells. Okay, yep, that's not four. Oh. Good lord. Oh, that's no. That's not a six. It's on a German whispers line. <laughs> oh, lord. Yes, yes. Well, I, I remembered to look at the other German whispers line and then completely forgot to look at this one. Okay, is there something similar with uh, what happens if row 4, column 8 is a 7? Row 4, column... I, I think this is going to get us an elimination. Row this? 4, column 9? Oh, row 4, column 9. If that's a 7, it puts a 2 above it. Which now means that the maximum that I could get up there is 15, which means that... Uh, so I think the punchline of this is that actually row 5, column 8 is never an 8. I think you have to actually unwind and see, look at it in the grid, but I don't think that can be an 8. Okay, so if this is an 8, that's a 7, that's a 2, and these aren't going to add up, are they? Right. And now these add to 16, but the most these add to is 15. So this one isn't an 8. So that is not an 8, yes. Ah, now, I think a similar thing happens if row 3, column 8 is a 2. So if that's a 2, then the thing next to it's a 3, but that puts an 8 on this, and now it's already too big. Okay, so these add to 14, right? Mm-hmm. And these add to at least 15 now. Okay. So we get two out of here. Mm-hmm. So interestingly, if row four, column four is anything but four, then the Renbon up there is low. Four is the only digit there that allows that to be high. Yes, that's right. One forces two, three, four. And six and eight force low digits. So if this is four, then this is low. Yeah, I was trying to look at it the other way. If the if row four, column four is four, what does that do to the state of the universe? Uh over here. Because it makes that a 6, uh, which then goes 3, 4, and then that is... 8, 7. Which forces the thing to be high, for what it's worth, uh, because it now plucks the 8 into that... Uh, or plucks the 8 out of that, so makes row... 7, column 4, it makes it a 2 or a 3. 
So although it is not a priori obvious, if row four, column four is a four, it does mean that vertical line is high. Yes, that's a little hard to see, but yes. And so it would have to be exactly six, seven, eight. Now, interestingly, this rules eight off of the length five Renbon in box or in row two. So if, uh, so yeah, the, and I, I think this might be more the point. Uh, if I have six, seven, eight on the vertical Renbon, I've now ruled six, seven, and eight out of uh, the pieces of the Renbon that are in box two, but I can't put all three of them over there because I need to put a five over there in box three. It is a very minor deduction, but it is something, it is somewhat interesting. So that means there has to be a, so that means there now has to be a three on this. So if in, in the universe where uh, row four, column four is a four, this Renbon now needs a three And it, in fact, has to go exactly in row two, column five, because that would have to be a three and a four right there. But mm -hmm. I feel like there's got to be something simpler that we're missing here than uh, that chain of things. Yeah, that's pretty elaborate. Uh, yeah, I, I feel like there is a much simpler thing that we are... Uh, not seeing. Uh, oh. Oh. This is simpler. Uh, what happens if all three digits on the vertical Renbon in column four are low? Where do those digits go in box eight? This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Ooh. Oh, oh, wow. That is gorgeous. That is beautiful setting. Wow, Ransk. So just to explain that, if all three of these are low, then there's only three places they could go in box eight, except that means one of them is a one and one of them is a four, and I can't put both a one and a four on a length three Renbon. So Ooh. those aren't low, they're high. Which is so, going to do a ton of work. Yes, which is going to just destroy uh, the grid, because those are now 6, 7, 8 exactly. Okay, so these are 6 and 7. This one's 8. Ah, yeah, because we said the 4 is the only way that this works. Sure. This is 4. This is 2. It's going to give us a 3 and a 2 down here. We have a 6 here, a 3 and a 4 here. An eight and a seven here. Uh, one three on the Renbon in row four. And you should blue the four and blue the, uh, the two three in the column. These aren't seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have a six in row six, which is giving us the value of the five six to be a five which is placing the five in box five on the Renbon. So you can lose the light gray there to keep track of that region because we don't need it anymore. So let's just write in what's left in this row. Sure. So we need a one and a two, the seven and an eight. And the six is high. And that's not a one or a two. That's a seven, eight pair, in fact, in box uh, in box four. Box four has a one, three pair. So that's a seven, eight pair. Those are both high. These are a one, two pair. They're both low. So now what's left in box four is four, six, nine. Oh. This one is fixing our one three pair, by the way. That it is. 
Uh, what about column four? I think we're missing the last low. So it is a two or a three. Which is going to get fix our one, two. Ah, uh, yes. So that's a one. That's a two. Okay, so there is nothing as low as a two anywhere on this Renbon. Yes. Uh, so this Renbon therefore needs to have... Uh, if I can't go down to two, I need to get up to at least three, four, five, six, seven. seven. I need to get up to at least seven. So one of those two cells is a seven. I guess I kind of already knew that from Sudoku, but what are you going to do? In fact, one of them's also an eight by Sudoku. Oh, that's more interesting. Yes, this is a seven eight pair. Yes, that is that is useful. So that's going to place a three, and those are orange. We should not forget. Oh, and we know where the six goes on the red bond. So that's a three, and then place the six. Yes, that's a three. It's blue. That's, that's a, a six. six now here. it's the only place where the six can go, and we need a six if we got a five and a seven. And so now that is either a nine or a four. And it's not a four, so it's a nine. Ah, it sees a four. Yep. So that is cool. Uh, let's see. Wow, that Sudoku trick with... Uh, the six in column three fixes the four six. The six in column three fixes the four six. So that's a four, and that's a two now. Yep, that's, that's a three. A three. Okay, a what's the last digit in the box? Three up here. That is a six. Yep. Oh, by the way, this is now a six by Sudoku. I don't see where the seven is. Six here, six oh, down here. Got it, got it, yep. I even remember noting that at some point, but it is long gone. Yep, but yep, that's a six. So that's a seven. Okay, let's fill in the last digit in box five now. It's a nine. Nine, I believe. Yep. Okay, and so now let's mark the last two digits in row four. There uh, are a five and a six. And six. Yep. And the last two digits in row seven, which ah. uh, we were doing before. Ah, well, yes. before we do that, we get a yeah. ton of stuff over here now because yep, that's not now a that's six. a seven, that's an eight, and so that is a These three need four to be pair, three and four, which is going to place a three here. Places the four also in row two, column six, because there it needs to be a four on that run bond, and that's the only place it can go. So that's blue. Uh, so row seven now only has one digit left, which is a seven. And there was some note, ah, four here by Sudoku. Yep. Uh, so what's left in box nine? Uh, we need a two and an eight, and we know the order. Fives now do align, like you thought two hours ago, uh, in boxes three and six. And so that places the five in box nine. Yes, uh, with a six up top. Mm -hmm. And so you can remove the five candidates down there. Yes, yes dear. Uh, so there's a two placed in box six. And that seven uh, looks over and fixes the seven eight uh, in box five. Where? Box five. Uh, column five has two digits missing. They are a one and a three. It looks like. Man, that was such. I'm going back to it. That was such a beautiful spot to see that these had to be high. That, that was, that was really well beautiful done. setting. Uh, beautiful setting, beautiful solving on your part. Okay, now there has to be a two on the Renbon in column eight. Because there's no other place for a two in the column. Right. Which now forces that one three to be a three. Ah, uh, because we need a three on the Renbon. Mm-hmm. 
And now my Renbon can't go as high as six. So it has to have a one and a two and a five. So that's a one, two, five triple. Well, no one up here. No two in uh, that one. Yep. So what are these then? We need seven, a seven and eight. Eight. And we know the which order. Are resolved. What is left in column six? Uh, those are a five and what? And a two. So that gives two, us. Five oh, there's this. And... Yeah, two five pair there, and the six in row one, column nine is looking across. So what's left in row one? Yep. Uh, three, four, nine. And nine has to. That's not three, three four, nine. <laughs> Three, four, nine. Thank you, yes. honey. <laughs> uh, the three goes in the middle. The nine goes on the right. Four goes there. Four looks down and fixes the four, nine. Uh, the nine is now placed in box seven. These are a five... And a seven. Seven, yep. And we know the order. Which is resolved. Okay, so let's do these columns. So we need a one here and a no. Oh, a one and a five. One and a five. Which gives us here. a one five pair in row two. So we can go ahead and snipe ah. a lot of that stuff. So that's a two. Five, that's a one, that's a two. <laughs> Uh, six down here, one here, two here, five here, one here, five here. Left in this row, we have seven and eight. I feel both that I would be very insulting to you if I pointed things out at this point, but also that it would be poor television if I didn't, so I don't know what to do. You can tell us in the comments what I should do, but Tristan can definitely finish the Sudoku from here, I believe. I, I think I can probably finish from here. Five and six. Here we need a two. And that is going to be a six. Very nice. Very yes, nice. That was beautiful. Yeah, that was a great puzzle. I quite enjoyed that. Uh, that was excellent. Thank you, Ranksk. I think we got distracted at the beginning by you making a brilliant observation about how the highs and lows were going to interact on those whisper lines, which then caused us to not look at all at the, the like, length at one line. At the actual line. useful ones? Because, <laughs> like, the, the thing that you noticed that was brilliant, that I was like, wow, that's such a great spot. I'm sure that's the break-in. I think only really got resolved at the very end of the puzzle. <laughs> But uh, it was it was still a brilliant spot to notice the way the highs and the lows bounced around down there. But then it just, uh, I think, distracted us. But it was a fun journey. And it, it made that noticing that one and that four just a uh, chef's kiss brilliant moment for the puzzle to finish. Very nice. Yes. All righty. Well, thank you for joining us, everyone. I think we're planning to try and do these videos of us solving a puzzle about once a month, somewhere in that time frame. Uh, but in the meantime, you've got lots of opportunity to come watch me stream. Definitely go check out Ranks' channel. He streams on Thursdays and Saturdays. We want to thank our patrons. If you want to support our content, visit patreon.com slash zetamath. Definitely check out the Sudoku Solvers Discord. Lots of fun stuff goes on there. And thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you next time. See you next time.